Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to City Skylines. We're back busting your myths because we had thousands of them on the last video. And this time we're on, we're on a nice level because I've got a bit of, oh, bridge. Whoa, that is a hell of a bridge. <laughs> is it too early to do a bridge review? An elevated suspension bridge crossing a huge river with one, two, three, four, five, six bands of suspension bridge madness taking a major highway from one side of the river to the other side allowing even the largest of boats to pass underneath i give this bridge a 7.8 out of 10 bridge review right with that over that was that was quite a distraction sorry about that uh, we're doing we're doing a little test based on a previous myth so this myth is turbines in a forest fire will produce more energy so basically the idea is because there's like there's more hot air and stuff there's going to be like high and low pressures the wind's going to be flaring all over the place uh, the turbine should spin quicker so we're going to grab a turbine and we're going to we're going to need two types and now they've, they've got to be on the same sort of land can you see this dark patch if i did one up there and like one over there then the one on here because it's higher because it's on this dark patch it'll spin faster and produce more energy so we're gonna we're gonna make sure we're on a flat area i think the best way to do that is literally just flatten everything out with this oh i did make i did make a very small little tsunami there no we're, we're gonna come to tsunamis later not now not now so i flatten the land i assume if i go back in oh no oh i did not know that if you flatten a hill, you can still make more power. I assume that is that is power, right? So if I do one there and one there, I assume once they start spinning, the one on the left will make more power. What's that making? Eight megawatts with nine wind speed. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought if I flattened it, it would change that. Okay. Well, in which case, maybe we can plonk one there and one there. Then we'll just check they're both the same. So that's eight megawatt, 10 wind speed. Oh, God damn it. Right, okay, I think we're good. We've got we've got seven megawatts with nine wind speed here, and we've got seven megawatts and nine wind speed here. So the theory is we surround one of these in a load of trees like that. Now, I guess we should probably check that doesn't have an effect first. So that is... Oh, it does. Oh, that's now four and four. Let me just check this one. Six and seven. Okay, so wind speed has dropped, but it's dropped a lot more when there's trees about. So I guess now's the perfect time to test. If we come into the disasters tab, we can literally start a forest fire. So I've proper surrounded this in fire. We're still on four. <laughs> the theory is the heat will make the blade spin quicker, but... um. <laughs> It just appears to be burning. So it's still on four and four. This one is still on six and seven. I reckon then that is myth busted. Fires do not make turbines spin quicker and produce more power. On to the next one. Right, so for this next one, we're looking at ships, specifically cruise ships. The myth is cruise ships are unsinkable in this game. Now, if I come into this transport tab here, when I'm in the ship one, I can actually see their route, meaning I can sort of plan how I'm going to take them out. And if I build one of these, a harbour, I can attract more boats. Well, ships, I should probably call them. So let's shove that there. Connect it up with a road. Give it some power and water and all that kind of stuff stuff and then we should have start tracking some ships okay so what we're going to try and do to sink this first off i reckon a meteor is probably a good shout now i'm gonna have to aim ahead so fast as it moving? it's moving pretty fast what if we if we go for like that all right it's getting closer it's getting closer i'm not seeing any meteor at the moment okay we need to aim ahead quite a bit more than that hello <laughs> Meteor. All right, well, that ship has long gone. Thankfully, there is another one coming in. Right, and now we're being hit with the Meteor. I wonder, actually. So the ship is now off the map. It was there. So if we think about that sort of length. Well, actually, this is going to be close to that one. This is going to be close to that ship. Boosh. Okay, so we just need a direct hit on the cruise ship. Uh, at least we can see our rough waves going to deter our ship. Oh, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. How is that not capsizing? Sure, it's off course. It's going to hit the bridge. It's going to hit the... Oh. Right, well, we definitely missed. I might try and go for another shot. All right, so we have another ship there. So what I'm thinking, if I... If we come over to this end, if we just lace this area in meteors, I'm literally just going to go absolutely mental. Then probability says, surely we're going to hit what? Oh, no, look, it's on its way. It's on its way. <laughs> How did you get here so far? Why aren't you stopping at my harbor? Oh, it's off. It's off. You've I just missed it. Well, here come the meteors. I'll tell you what then. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep lacing. Because eventually we're gonna get we're gonna get a boat come through, right? I mean we'll get to see how a cargo ship copes. It's just whether we can get a direct hit. Oh, oh, that was close. Whoosh! It's in the flames! <laughs> how is it how is it not capsizing? 
Oh, it's just taking another direct hit. Oh, wait, it stopped. It stopped. Has it sunk? It's just taking another direct hit. I think we've evaporated the sea with blooming meteor strikes. <laughs> Oh, no. No, it's still it's still going. No way. It's still floating. Right. Well, cargo ship coping pretty well. I still... We still got to test the cruise ship. Is that one? Right. There's one on its way. There's one on its way. I'm just spamming meteors on the line. Oh, no. While we're hammering this area with meteors, the bloody cruise ship's gone into the harbor over there. Is it coming back this way? It might be coming back. Keep spamming. Keep spamming. No, it's going back the other direction. Oh, <laughs> think though if we just do that like in the middle here then surely they're gonna come past and they're gonna get hit right there's still meteors coming how many did i <laughs> how many did i make hit down here and why is that cruise ship reversing off the map go forward are you gonna go forward no it, it disappeared fair enough all right so i'm gonna aim i'm gonna aim like there-ish i reckon just a case of waiting for our ship to spawn so let's speed up time Right, there's one. Is that a cruise ship? Yes. Okay, okay, right. So from now, we just start spamming meteors. We are going to hit this thing. Are you ready for this cruise ship? Look, there it comes up there. So it's going to come down. Please hit. Please hit. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Oh, I think we've missed. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's going to the harbor, which means it should come back. And then we should get a direct hit, right? It'll be interesting to know. Can passengers still board whilst there's tidal waves out of the port? Oh, it seems like they can. Right, where's it heading? Is it going to head back this direction? Oh, man, look. There's like, there's no water in there. That's just ground under there. Right, so cruise ship is going in. Boosh. Right, meteors. Boosh. <laughs> Does that count as sunk? That must have sunk. It's like it's in the middle of an atomic bomb. <laughs> I mean, technically that ship is on the sea floor right now. Oh, look, it vanished. I think then that's, that's myth busted. So the myth of cruise ships are unsinkable is busted. Oh, wow. And look at, look at the water coming back in as well. It's like we've actually, we've made land. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. We've made we've made a little rock formation island thing. Decent. Oh, look, there's another ship coming as well. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you're sinkable. Got it, mate. All right, so this next one, we're, we're going to try and bust the myth that water can flow across a bridge. So I've loaded up a canyon map. I got this from the Steam Workshop. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just delete all the trees there. That could actually hurt my frame rate doing that. Ow. All right, and then I'm going to make a bit of like a, a bit of a water park type thing. So we're going to grab the terrain tool and we're going to just make a little bit of a platform over here. And we're going to grab down a level a little bit. Probably like there. Do the same on this side. All right, then we're just going to slope the terrain so it does something like that. Because water does, in fact, like to flow downhill. We then plop some flood walls like that. So hopefully water won't escape. And then we're just going to span this canyon with bridges. Well, the height is too high, apparently. So actually, first, let's just raise that level up a bit. All right, now, obviously, we can't build bridges too close to each other. Because the game's like, you can't just build a bridge in a bridge map. That's, that's bridgeception. That's immature. However, if I turn my little Tweety bird from a normal bird into a hardcore metal bird, then uh, that's anarchy, which means we can basically build wherever we want meaning i can just do a lot of this and then we've got a load of bridge and if we like if we get like proper zoomed in you can sort of see there's there's no gaps anywhere like from underneath looking up you can't see the sky it's pitch black now we just need to spawn water up here and that's quite easily done so if we come into this tab the water one uh, we can literally we can place a water source so if we place that there and then we just press play we should see yes water is being formed so what we should see is water flowing down this hill and hopefully if the myth is correct it should cross all these bridges and get to this side <laughs> what is this what <laughs> also anyone with like ocd i'm really sorry about those uh those bridge pillars. <laughs> it was going so well so perfect and then just a few just they just let me down they're the architect bridges anyway the water is nearly there. What do we think is going to happen? Oh, man, that's actually quite a bit of water. So it's hitting the bridge. Oh, no, wait, is it actually... I think it's going to cross. I think it's going to cross. Wait, is it? Oh, no, no, it's going underneath. It's going underneath. So looking from above, you can see, unfortunately, I think that is going to be that's going to be a false myth because this side is dry as you like. So creating a water bridge in this game, unless you do it how I did in a previous video. Look at that. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Go watch a video if you haven't. Uh, that is myth busted. Uh, pretty cool, though. Right. This next myth is a tsunami myth. You're joking. 
Not another one? Yep, another tsunami myth. So for this one, we're going to be testing tunnels can stop a tsunami. Now, if you remember one of my previous Mythbusters, we busted the myth that water can flow through a tunnel. Because uh, in the real world, that's just called a box culvert. But no, in this game, it, it completely blocks water. So I, I'm sort of wondering if we had just loads and loads of tunnels, will that stop the tsunami? I think first off, let's delete everything in the middle. And then I move the road up to here where it's flat because if you look there, there's sort of like a little there's a little slope going on there so my plan is to do like a, a layer of tunnels i don't know how high they are if we were to go like that is that going to be easy to copy yes but i'm then going to have to do the underground roads manually okay fair enough all right and then we have a load of connected tunnels like that uh, then next up i sort of i think i just want to do like another layer on top so if we go up like guess that height then how easy is it to get another tunnel in no that is definitely not what i wanted all right so we got all the entrances and exits on i've just got to link them all up again so just do a bit of this this is going to be a little bit complicated trying not to click the tunnels beneath but it appears to be working all right so i reckon one more layer something like that oh no no i've ripped a hole in the space-time continuum i can see <laughs> I can see straight through. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Much better. All right, then I'm just going to connect all of these. Uh, question how I was ever a highway engineer for 10 years of my life. And then we just wait for the tsunami to hit and see whether any water will make it through our tunnels, which we appear to have lost some of our upper level ones. Hang on. No, I've tried to free them, but it seems like we've lost the top row of tunnel. Anyway, the tsunami is here. Let's see. Will any of the water come through? Because on the other side, we have a city that we're trying to defend. A very efficient city. So here it goes. The oh my goodness, the water went straight over the top. <laughs> yeah, we should be able to see pretty clearly though whether any made it through the tunnels. And yeah, it doesn't look like it did. It's pretty much the same height everywhere. So that is... <laughs> So that is myth confirmed. Tunnels do work as tsunami defense. Just don't try it in real life. For well, this next one, we're back in Engetopia where the Pukano is refilled. Yes, thankfully, I did back up my save before the last video because uh, that, was, that was absolutely horrifying to see. However, this myth is just as terrifying. The myth is you will be protected from an asteroid strike by hiding under a bridge. Uh, so, you know what that means? We need to we need to build a bridge over Engetopia. So, we'll grab a pretty wide road, the six-lane road with median strip. Then I guess we'll see how best to do this. I probably want to do a bit of level terraining. I got to be I got to be higher than that. So, maybe maybe like that sort of height. And if I do another one over here, then hopefully can we uh, no, no we can't. <laughs> I was hoping I could just do a bridge over the top. Yeah, annoyingly, this seems to be demolishing every building underneath. I don't really I don't really understand why it's doing that. Like, what's wrong with living under bridges? Look at all this space. <laughs> why do I have no troll people in Engetopia? But yeah, it looks like bridges completely... They delete everything underneath them so that's not gonna that's not gonna work for a test we're gonna have to delete this and make everyone happy right well i do have some other bridges thankfully like i literally have a golden gate bridge <laughs> Uh, the only downside, it doesn't actually have any road on it. Now, I've just placed some road on it, but it's proper glitching out. Like, it, it disappears depending on what camera angle you use. This this doesn't seem right, in my opinion. Let's sod it. Let's just spam these down and let's see. <laughs> let's see if it will actually protect the city. Oh, wow. I've literally I've literally put a roof over Edgetopia. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Is that going to... I mean, that could work i feel like an asteroid shouldn't get through there it's just whether it will uh, so i guess do we do we throw an asteroid at this thing and see if it works so meteor strike let's wang it on there right in the middle then i guess we just wait and see to see if this works i mean i'm not gonna lie i can't actually call what way this is gonna go uh, maybe this bridge won't work, but maybe other ones might do. It's like from above, there's there's definite gaps. There's like squares everywhere. But I feel like they're smaller than a meteor. So it could slash should hit. Oh, there it is. There it is. Right, so this is the zoomed in shot. Oh, no, it went straight through. It went straight through. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it actually... Oh, my goodness. No. Oh, no. Oh. Well, the Golden Gate isn't meteor proof. Uh, city got destroyed and and bridges got destroyed. 
Uh, that wasn't ideal. Right, so this time we're going to try the normal bridges again, which is this six laner. I've made I've made a much smaller stretch. If I turn Anarchy back on, there we go. We can actually, we can make these bridges pretty easily. So I'm going to do what I did on the water bridge myth, and we'll just do that sort of thing. Because I think the trouble with using the modded bridges that I used before... Is there in this electricity tab? So I think essentially, like all these bridges, they're not actually bridges. They're like they're like pylons. And obviously, with these pylons, I don't think the actual the wire. I don't think that's like an actual object. Whereas hopefully with this layout, we should see that this works. I mean, unfortunately, all the houses underneath got destroyed. So there's suddenly hundreds and hundreds of homeless people. Look, there's a dog. That dog just got in a sports car. <laughs> see that um but there is still a skate park because skate parks are always located under bridges so i guess we're gonna see can we protect that from another meteor strike boosh right time to see how this goes i'm actually more intrigued about this one because i feel like like that's a much more solid platform it's pretty much darkness under there like i feel like if i was a meteor i would struggle to get through that it's been well engineered in my opinion oh look there it is in the sky so it's going to come down at that angle so let's see how this gets on boosh oh i went straight through and it destroyed them again no <laughs> the skate park is now just a giant skate bowl actually i i technically made it more fun to skate on anyway unfortunately i think that means this myth is busted if there is a meteor strike do not stand under a bridge they will not protect you right and on that note guys i'm gonna say peace love and bridges if you got more myths you want me to try let me know by writing it in the comments otherwise i'll catch you guys next time bye